Hello, everybody. Welcome to our podcast series here at the ALS Association, Greater Philadelphia Chapter. I'm your host, Tony Heil, and this is a special series we're calling Talk to Defeat ALS, uh, which is very clever, and I came up with it. Um, (laughs) And we're starting that to be a little bit loose and comfortable with everybody. Um, But the Talk to Defeat ALS series is going to walk teams and some special people who have made the Walk to Defeat ALS really successful and important in the chapter's history over our last 40 years. And what better way to start than one of the first walk teams, one of the leading teams throughout our chapter, than the Gowdy family, Joe's Rowdy Gowdies. And I'm here in Ocean City, New Jersey, to hear their stories for a two-part series here, to talk about the history of their team, history of the walk, and what it's meant to ALS families in New Jersey and and elsewhere, because it's made a huge difference. So before we get started, just to let you know, you can sign up for this year's Ocean City Walk to Defeat ALS at www.oceancitywalktodefeatals.org. Of course, follow us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and everything, all at ALS Philadelphia. Subscribe to us on iTunes and comment and share this as well. With that very short introduction out of the way, it's time for all of you, because we have a big audience here. Um, to introduce yourselves, I'm going to start to my left because you got a hand up. I'm Debbie Eberly, and I was glad to be there for the first walk in 2002. And before we go, Debbie, it was your mom that had ALS, right? Yes, my mom. Right. I'm Sam Eberly, and I am the daughter of Debbie Eberly and the granddaughter of um, Joe Gowdy. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm the, uh, I guess I would have to say the originator of this walk back in 2000 before, and it was just a a flippant comment I made at an association uh, uh, medical meeting in the University of Pennsylvania with uh, uh, Dr. McCluskey, McCluskey. and uh, I said, we could do a walk in uh, Ocean City. It's probably one of the primary places to hold a walk and uh, it's just ideal and it seems like uh, we won out on that battle. Well yeah and before we go further your name is Bob Gowdy. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) You just assume anyone's gonna know. (laughs) I have trouble remembering sometimes. (laughs) That's a key part of the introduction but I'm gonna Make sure we get our last <laughs> right. person here. Yeah, well, well, welcome to Ocean City, Tony. We love Ocean thanks, City. Thanks for doing this and participating in uh, helping with the walk and, and everything that you guys do. And just um, like your dad, you didn't I'm introduce Kevin. me. Well, that's all right. I'm, not, I'm new here, too. Uh, my name's Kevin Gowdy. I'm the um, logistics coordinator for the walk and have been each year. Um, my dad, father asked me to take up that role um, originally. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he was the uh, originator of the walk, came up with the concept to come down, and and, uh, over some years, beginning with, Dad wanted to call it walk, walk, boardwalk to defeat ALS, and tried painstakingly to get it changed, but to no avail, but now we have, or we're hyphenated as a result. uh, To be fair, uh, in our press releases, I have always typed in Ocean City Board dot 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 walk nice. to yeah, yeah. <laughs> and let people know it's a and yeah. and we've done that with Seaside Seaside Board Walk to defeat ALS. Yeah. It doesn't work very well. We do Lehigh Valley Board. Yeah. Walk. Right. There's no boardwalk in Lehigh. Valley. Uh, so sorry for interrupting, Bob. But no, you, you started the walk concept. The first one here was in 2002. Yeah, and I it's easy to remember that because it's on your shirt right in front of me. <laughs> yeah, um, but you had talked to people about this would be a great place to do a walk back when your wife was diagnosed. Yeah, it was. Uh, we were number of people in the hospital, going doctor to doctor, <clears throat> uh, visiting them about the various stages of um, ALS. I remember primarily Dr. McCluskey, who was still. I believe, very active, and Mm -hmm. uh, we just talked and said, we can do one of these, and uh, and he said, let's give it a shot, and uh, so the staff at the University of Penn, the nurses, and people from the association that work with it said, let's give it a try in the fall, 
And that was the first one, very first. And so you wanted to do a walk then. You, you knew how serious ALS was. Um, but what did you want to accomplish? Did you just want to raise awareness in the area because people didn't know it? Did you want to raise money? Did you want to? Well, it was beginning with raising uh, money, but the awareness to people who had ALS who came to the walk, it was very, very meaningful to them. Mm -hmm. They came to the walk and um, they were very impressed with everybody supporting them. And it was very meaningful that way. And it, it grew from there. there. And uh, we, I, I can't even tell you the accumulative number that we've had over the years from before 2000 to 17. And it's just, it's grown beyond my thinking. Yeah. Well, it's been tens of thousands of people that have come to the walk. And Debbie, I guess that means that a lot of people didn't know about ALS in the area. And did you did you know anyone else from New Jersey or from around here that you thought would want to participate or had connections? Um, well, not at the time, but um, we had someone that was my husband's, um, one of his customers. He worked for CertainTeed and Universal Supply was one of the first teams that supported us, supported yeah. my mother. And then years later, I'm not sure how right. many... Joe Umicello, the owner of Universal, ended up being diagnosed with ALS. So okay. it was unbelievable that uh, here they participated even no before they knew much about ALS, and years later he was diagnosed with it. So, And they're one of the biggest teams now, I believe. Yes. They have been, yeah. I remember yeah. when Joe yes. the ribbon, yeah. yes. New yes. Jersey was there. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a great... Now, I, we're leaping forward a bit, because that was like in 2012 or 13. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's been a number of people locally that have had it. Um, the, sh yeah. the chef from the Yacht Club, Michael Coffey, mm -hmm. uh, my right. principal from my from Ocean City High School, um, he was Sip, Joe, Sip, Mr. Cipriano, Cipriani. Mm -hmm. um, um, a... A woman that owned a store next to my mother's um, downtown Ocean City. She, I don't quite remember her name, but she had ALS. And also, we had a gentleman um, here that worked for Atlantic Electric. He's all their team is very large. Oh yeah, um, Mr. Town. Mm -hmm. So I never even heard of it before my mother. What we were told right. that she had, and then over the years, the teams have just so many more teams now than. Than originally, and then, I don't know what the reason is. Is, that, is, are, is ALS more prevalent, or do we just all know about it more now? Well, and the people know you guys because you're mm -hmm. not necessarily shy people, which is good for this. But um, <laughs> well, there's a lot of us. <laughs> well, but that's that's true. But so, you, and you also haven't been doing this for just a cup of coffee. You've been doing this for many yeah. years. So, um, have people now come to you and said, "Hey, Debbie. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Bob." Um, my friend has ALS. What do I do? My my yes. mother has this. Have right. you had those experiences over the last yes. 15, 20 years? Yes. Absolutely. yes. As we were talking I earlier. A number of them. Sam's um, roommate from college, they go to Penn State, and her r father was diagnosed a few years ago with um, ALS, and we think they're going to be able to participate this year. And we were talking about it uh, before the girls went to study abroad, and they were talking about coming this um, September to the walk. So it's um, I told them about the services up at the chapter, and um, she was, you know, wanted to participate this year on the uh, on the walk. So Sam, because now you get a chance to talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, you have. Someone like your Debbie was just saying uh, told you about an ALS diagnosis. What what go, goes through your mind? Because there's one thing where you know how terrible it is, but also, hey, I can help. Um. Well, I actually didn't find out that uh, her father was diagnosed with ALS until maybe like my second semester of just knowing her for a full year. So. I just knew it because my grandmother had it and didn't realize how common ALS could be. And just telling her, like, we should just try to raise money together 
on anything that I need to like to do to help her with uh, her father during this time. And yeah, that's really mm -hmm. all I could help with. And for you as someone in college, but also all of you guys, when you now hear somebody that has ALS, um, is your instinct like, hey, there's something you can get. Like you can get right. speech technology, you can get wheelchairs. Like, yeah. um, you know, I know people have moved to this region because our chapter has a lot of services. Is that something where I, you guys I, have I all been able to help? I immediately refer them to you guys. Yeah. And so that they should, I recommend that they should seek you out or I'll get the information for them and get it to your loved ones immediately because well, the association is I mean, that's extremely helpful. Yeah, good. And that's one thing that that I just can't let go is that when we think of the the people that well, I'll, let's say I initiated by name just to get going, and how it's grown, even within our family, is that my kids have said for the last ten years. Uh, get out of the way, old man. No, we don't. And, uh, say that. He made that up. <laughs> he made that up many, many years ago and sticks and, by it. And, <laughs> and, and still and was I involved, thank goodness. But in saying that, um, the various people, the fun I can go around the family and name particular functions, what he does, what she does, and what they each do associated with this walk, I have to just lay back. And let them run, and they're and they're good. I mean, he knows everybody on the police department, on the fire department, city hall, and whatever. He doesn't have to go; to, he can walk in the door, and um, and that connection works. And my point is that that is very very important to get things for done. any wall. But I can't let go is that the association people that work for the association that have known for the last 20 years. Without them, oh. you go nowhere. Right. They're just, um, and they don't get in the way, but they're there for you. Uh -huh. And they, uh, they're, they're, I, I can't say enough about the staff, all of them from the get-go, right. that how they support us and what they've done, and they're there. And... Uh, and and they don't come at you like, what are you doing? Are you doing anything? Yeah. Getting anything done? They're there to support, and uh, and it's very very meaningful. Well, and, speaking of support, um, you know, I think you're talking about how all your family all has roles in the walk, and I, I, no no other walk that I know of has that component where you have such a large family that's all had their own roles in making that mm -hmm. event successful, um, but. Is that how you guys reacted when your mom had ALS? Did you guys, was it a team effort? Did you, because you didn't know what ALS was, so you didn't really like, oh, well, mom has ALS, I better go play quarterback, and I better play wide receiver. No, they and drifted pre -season to started their, out, so I have to put it They drifted to their PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. they did, we didn't do anything by design, naming yeah. jobs. But um, why he focused where he could do the most and Deb, same thing. And then people are, they have certainty corporation. Um, you mentioned. Uh, yes. It, but when, when with your, with your mom, with the diagnosis, did you guys, um, cause you were a lot younger cause this was a long time ago. Yeah. Um, um, so you were probably Kevin, like seven, eight years old. old. <laughs> no, he was older. <laughs> but, you, but you guys were still like Thank young, you. young adults. Oh. <laughs> yeah, me. Well, six, we have six, six. I was six or seven. <laughs> that was me. Yeah, he does look really. We young. We tried to be just supportive. It wasn't. What, what can we do? Because right, um, you didn't, you didn't he, know what support you would need. What, that what, time, right? Dad was just. She had two nur two nursing shifts, and then Dad was the the, the caregiver, and right. it was absolutely brutal on him. Yeah, and. We just I get, we tried, tried to be, to be around, around as much as we could and well, comforting. Well, oh, I mean, one, one, her husband and the wife they work with uh, with the grocery. Um, Are you talking about Shoprite? Shoprite, yeah, Shoprite. 
and um, certainty. And, uh, well, they're, I, I, they're, they're involved. Okay. Well, we'll talk about, we're going to be done with part one in a couple minutes. We'll go into shop right and their I activities would, soon. I wouldn't be anywhere without <laughs> all of them. Well, um, and Tony was focused in two part there on first how we rallied yeah, around mom right. and then, then right. rallied around the walk it. and the structure. To be honest, not to get away from the first part of that. And dad picked us out, picked, told us what our roles were going to be. Mm -hmm. wow. Because that's, he's with a lifetime of being an administrator. Sometimes that's good, right? He knows how to do it. Yeah. And <laughs> you know, put everybody to task and let them run. Well, and that sometimes when you're, whether it's a walk or whether it's a family member, you don't know what to do, right? But you guys have been figuring it out for many years. And we're going to talk more about what the Gowdy family's all done and how they stay, they've stay they stayed rowdy for the last 15 <laughs> plus years in part two, which you'll be able to listen to next week. Um, but I'm not going to leave and come back. Of course, it's going to yeah, okay, oh, really? <laughs> so uh, thank you for listening. And make sure to get involved in the walk at www.oceancitywalktodefeatals.org and join the Gowdy family and all of our walk teams this September. Thank Please you, and, and listen mm -hmm. shortly for part two.